All right. I don't know. Got to test my audio here. Can you guys hear me? Sweet. Wow, the delay is insane on this end. Woo woo! I was beginning to wonder if anybody was going to show up. Welcome in. Yeah, these, these will be kind of fun to do. Oh, that's coming in upside down. Hold on a second. This is crazy. Why is this not... Lay out. Aha. Hey, listen here, bot. I 
can only get better from here. Case, uh, case you didn't know, uh, woot woot, um, bots is uh, is Joe. So welcome in Joe from the stream. Yes, I'm gonna fight you too. By the way, virtually. So I gotta get used to this delay. Um, it's like literally 60 second delay from me saying something to you guys and you guys being able to react. <laughs> okay, well... Since, let's try this again. I'm going to turn on, okay. <laughs> Joe got spam locked. Yeah, well, of course they are. Okay. Sorry. So, how's your evening going there? Woo -woo. So the Kaladash and Aether Revolt packs uh, we're giving away as a raffle. Um, so we'll be doing that. Uh, we're going to do this on the, the live stream. So um, I have 10 sets to give away. So that'll be fun. We have a lot of, lot of people coming in, so... So I figure while we're waiting for everybody else, we'll go ahead and open some of these packs and kind of just see uh, what we get. So we got some Scars of Mirrodin. Oh my god. By the way, if you've ever opened any of these, like, old packs. They are so hard to open through the freaking glue. Actually, hold on. This is my new trick. Hopefully it focuses. Come on, focus. <sighs> okay, so for some reason this thing does not want to focus. All right, well... I think that's the best I'm going to get. 
I need to really tweak this out a little bit. All right, well. Oh, there's a poison counter. Woo! All right. Yeah, this focus is really bad. Let's change the light position. Oh, that's even worse. Jeez. Oh, I see what's going on. Hold on. Jeez. I was having this issue before. I'm not going to <laughs> stop it, Joe. I'm not going to flex. Or I should say bots. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to switch to manual focus. Hold on one second here. This is ridiculous. All right. Can you guys read that? Yeah, I would totally love to open a Mox Opal. Let's see what happens. We got, uh, let's see, one, that's two, four, six, seven to open. Um,
I'm just having difficulties all around, I guess. Hm. Well, Let's just get on with it. Let's see what we got here. Oxida Scrap Melter, whatever that thing is. Viridian, Ravel, Dark Steel, Meyer, and a Carnifex Demon. I don't even know the cards in this set. Uh, I've never really opened uh, Scars when it came out, so this is pretty much the first time I've ever opened Scars besides when we did the March Masters Tournament, which was kind of fun. Oh, is there swords in this too? I didn't know that. Okay, so let's go on. Dark Steel Axe, Flesh Allergy, Rusted Relic, and Quicksilver Gargantuan. Gargantuan. Wow. You may have Quicksilver Gargantuan enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except it's still a 7-7. Seven, seven. Well, that's interesting. It's 7 mana cost, so that's a pretty hefty mana cost to play that card. Yeah, Mem Knight is, uh, I like Mem Knight. Wow, the focus on this is so bad. Hmm. Anyways, I'll have to really test this and get this better. I don't know why it's so bad. Vigil for the Lost. Clone Shell. Halt. Order, Tar counter target artifact spell, draw a card. Yeah, three mana costs. That's that's pretty. I wouldn't play it. Painful quandary. There we go. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, that player loses five life unless he or she discards a card. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a big, nasty card, but it's also, like, seven mana cost. Seven mana cost for a seven, seven is just, whoop, that's just a little too much. Thank you very much. You'll, oh, there's a foil. Oh, I guess they put the foils in the back on these, huh? Shows you how much I know about Scars of Mirrodin. So it's just a common, silver. Silvok Replica. All right, we got four left here. Let's see what we got going on. Volition Reigns.
Okay, Bonds, you tell us all about scars, why don't you? Golem, Artisan, Rust Tick, and Mirror Reservoir. Tap, add two mana to your mana pool, spend this mana to cast mirror spells or activate abilities of mirror. And tap three, return target mirror card from the graveyard to your hand. All right. Is Grasp of Darkness an uncommon or a common in this set? Oh, it's a common. Okay. Well, let's see. Well, maybe I should uh, I should go ahead and show the comments too, huh? Let me take a look in the comments. Disperse. Nope. No grasp of darkness here. Okay. Huh, I did not know that. Okay. Skin Renderer. Slice in Twain. Twine, whatever. Grafted exo Exoskeleton. And a pu Putrefax Trample Haste Infect 5-3. Huh. At the beginning of the end step, sacrifice. Oh. So basically, you put them out and you sacrifice them. All right. Well, that's a pretty cool looking wolf token. All right. Second to last pack. So. Since the grasp is a common, let's go ahead and just ride this one out and do it for the beginning, huh? We got Glinthawk. Glinthawk Idol. Okay, so we have a Glinthawk and its idol follows its footsteps. Lumingrid Drake. Chrome Steed. Tell. Jelly, Jelad, whatever, Defiance, uh, Dross Hopper, Copperhorn Scout, Nihil Spellbomb, Glimmer Post. Now I think we're going to move into the Uncommons. Oh, no, one more. <clears throat> Kadula Rebirth. Okay, so the on. Commons, Arc Trail, Ikorats, Ogre Gear Grabber. Oh, it's interesting artwork. And then Aziri's Brigade, Metal Craft. As long as you control three or more artifacts, Aziri's Brigade gets 4 4 and it's trample. Ouch. Huh. Yeah, it's still too much to put in an elf deck. It's kind of cool. I'm a huge Elves fan. Oh, I did not know that. Oh, the yeah, okay, the Death Toucher. Gotcha. Oh, wait. Uncommons. I'm messing up my piles here. All right. Well, we're on our last pack of...
scars of Mirrodin. Oh, it's bulk. Boo. Ah, well. Maybe one of these days it'll go up. They'll print a set and it'll skyrocket to $50 or something. All right, we got Silver Mirror. Cyst Bearer. Leaden Mirror. Peerless Mirror. Bleak Coven Vampires. Turn aside. Pretty good staple of a counter spell. Scoria Elemental. Withstand Death. Target creatures in indestructible until the end of the turn, or this turn. Psychic Mizma. Tumble Magnet. And Bloodshot Trainee is the first uncommon. Dark Slick Drake. Painsmith. And Grind Clock. Artifact. Put a charge counter on Grind, grind Clock. And then tap target player. Puts the top X cards of his or her library in her, into his or her graveyard. Where X is the number of charge counters on Grind Clock. Alright. Not sure if that's even playable. Forest. And we have a mirror token. So... Unfortunately, we didn't hit on Mox Opal or anything, but that's okay. That was still fun to open. All right. So what do you guys what do you think? What's next? What should we do here? Let's um, do some Avis and Restored. M15. Who opens M15 these days? I recently, though, I purchased a uh, M11 box, so um, actually that'll be kind of fun to uh, to open on camera. Ready to let's open some Avison. All right, so we got Angelic Wall, Crypt Creeper. I'm going to start building a, uh, try to build a Zombies modern deck. See how that, that pans out. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know. I don't understand why this is not focusing. Oh, you know what? I got one last ditch effort. I think
I'm trying one thing there, guys. We'll come on one second here. Man, settings. Yeah, it's not let me focus it. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, well. I'll fix it for ne next time. Flowering, lumber knot, righteous blow, scalding devil, alchemist apprentice, renegade demon, driver of the dead, angel's mercy, Gain seven life. Ah. Seraph Sanctuary. Move into the uncommons. Aggravate. Morrow Bats. Triumph of Cruelty. And the rare Druid's Repository. So... I don't know. Let's see. What is that again? Whenever a creature you control attacks, put a charge counter on it. Remove a charge counter. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. All right. Yeah, I'd love to pull a cavern on the uh, on stream here. That'd be kind of cool. All right, angelic wall. Didn't we start with that last time? We did. Huh. All right. Angelic wall. Natural end. Mist raven. Thunderbolt. Choose one. Thunderbolt does 3 damage to target player, or Thunderbolt deals 4 damage to target creature with flying. Huh, interesting. Okay. Spectral Gate Guards. Ghost Form. Necrobite. Zealous Strike. Heirs of Storm Stromkirk. Emancipation Angel. Turn target. Okay. Human Frailty. Frailty. Tandem Lookout. It's a pretty good card. I think, didn't they? They reprinted this in Modern Masters, didn't they? I think so. And Restoration Angel. There we go. And a Gold Knight Commander foil. That's kind of cool in a foil. Huh. Oh wait, Restoration Angel. That one's that one's pretty much bulk, right? Yeah, isn't that the one that was just reprinted in Modern Masters 2017? Oh. Okay, so that one is... I can't remember. There's so many angels recently. Alright. So we got... Banners raised, Root Crown Ghoul, Thraben Valiant, 2-1 Vigilance, Dreadwaters, 
amass the components. Farbog Explorer. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's still a good card. I'll go in, uh, go in Commander deck. But I got a Kali of the Vast Commander deck that I'm trying to piece together. Nightshade Peddler. Thatcher Revolt. Midvast Protector. Polluted Dead. And we move to the Uncommons. Holy Justicar. Justicare. Whatever. I'm so bad when, when I try to name cards. Evernight Shade. Tormentor's Trident. Let's see. What is it? Captain of the Mist. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just really bad at saying the names of cards sometimes. Okay. We we'll have Butcher Ghoul. <laughs> just a car. <laughs> Oh man. Cathedral Sanctifier. There we go. Got that one. Ha ha. Flowering Lumber Knot. Malicious Intent. Grounded. Dreadwaters. Necrobite. Ra. Defang. Well, wow, that's a pretty insane, intense looking card. I mean, like, I know it's not completely in focus, but yeah, that's a little, it's a little scary looking. Ghost form, up to two target creatures are unblockable this turn. Yeah, okay. Pillar of flame. Vigilante justice is our first uncommon. Vanishment, there you go. Miracles. Put a non-land permanent on the top of its owner's library. Hmm. Barter in Blood. Was this, I don't know, this one wasn't reprinted in um, Modern Masters 2017, right? Not all the miracles were reprinted, I don't think. Uh, Barter in Blood. And Angel of Jubilation. Flying other black non-black creatures you control get plus one plus one. Well, that's not so bad. Three white though. Three white. Wow, oh, that's a pretty cool looking token. I'd use that as a human token. Welcome in, Scout. How you doing tonight? Scouts JC. Really? Angel of Jubilation is almost $4? Wow. I don't know this set very well, except uh, Cavern, Restoration Angel. It's pretty much all I really know on this set. I didn't come back to Magic, so I left Magic the Gathering... Um, I would say I left Magic around Tempest, so quite a while ago, and then I came back around BFZ. So I missed a really good chunk of Magic the Gathering. I'm really kicking myself in the pants for that one. I missed the good stuff. All right, moving on. Natural End. Fleeting Distraction. Morlin Inquisitor Searchlight Geist 2 1 Flying 
Voice of Provinces, Scroll of Avacyn, Peel from Reality, Curse Break, Destroy Target Enchantment, you gain two life, Pillar of Flame, Joint Assault, Vigilante Justice. I think we already had that card. In the last pack we opened, we did. It's like a repeat almost. Fettergeist, 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 whatever. Blessings of Nature, another miracle card. Distribute four plus one plus one counters among any number of target creatures. I don't know. I don't know if this one was reprinted in Modern Master 17 either. And Spirit Away. Enchant creature you can enchant creature you control enchanted creature. Enchant creature gets plus two plus two and has flying. Cool. Cost seven. Ouch. Who would want to play a seven costing enchantment? Well, yeah, I, I can't see a use for it. Not in modern, that is. Could have, and then probably it was a pretty good limited card during this time, though. Hey, what's up, Des? Thanks, Woot. Yeah, we're we're trying our best. Um, you know, we're we're doing a lot of just trying to get our feet on the ground. So, um, plus, I'm trying to get used to being on camera, doing voice work. I've always been the producer of videos, so I'm good at doing that. Um, I'm having difficulty transitioning and creating videos, so, um, but I'm, I think I'm getting there. I'm, I'm having fun doing it, so, uh, I know it doesn't always show on video, but I'm definitely having fun doing it. You're encoding a video and playing Skyrim. Well, that's cool. I haven't played, I haven't picked up Skyrim in a while. I'm, I'm gonna get back to that soon. Butcher Ghoul. Hey, Des, by the way. This is what we're going to be opening here soon. These should be kind of fun. So uh, you might want to stick around for a little bit. Alright, so we have Cathedral Sanctifier, Flowering Lumber Knot, Malicious Intent, Dread Waters, Seraph of the Dawn, Necrobite. Rawr. Defang. Man, this, you know what? Come on, man. We got the same pack last time, didn't we? It's almost the same, same uh, sequence here. Ghost form. I'm telling you, this is like a mirror pack. Pillar of Flame. Gold Knight Commander. Vessel of Endless Rest. Stern Mentor. And exquisite blood as the rare. Whenever an opponent loses life, you gain that much life. Four mana cost. Five mana cost. That's a creepy looking card too, by the way. Although, not as creepy as some of the cards from the old days, man. Like from Revaz and 4th edition and Alpha and Beta. Thanks, James. Welcome in. All 
All right, hold on one second, guys. I need to take a sip of drink. Exquisite blood is 13 bucks? No way. Are you kidding me? All right, so what do I got to do? What do you think, Des? Do I have to put this in a sleeve? It's going to it's going to it's going to probably dissipate if I don't, right? Guess we'll go ahead and throw this in a perfect sleeve. There we go. Brian over at uh, Tolarian Community College will be proud of me putting that in his sleeve, I'm sure. Really? Is it that good of a card? Whenever an opponent, well, I guess I could see this in ED. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't, like I said, I don't know this set very well. So I'm relying on you guys telling me that I'm I'm wrong when <laughs> I pull something and I'm like, eh, yeah, okay. Um, okay, Pathbreaker Worm. Griff Vanguard. <laughs> Dangerous Wager. Narstat. Scrapper. Oh, this is the last pack of Avison, by the way. Let's see if we uh, see if we can't pull a cavern, huh? Polluted dead. Win crafter. Renegade demon. Borderland ranger. Galvanic Alchemist, <clears throat> Somberwald Vigilante, Druid's Familiars, our first uncommon, Devote Chaplain, Reign of Thorns, and Vexing Devil. All right, quick, tell me. Is that a good card or not? Because I don't know. Let's see, well, it's one mana cost for a 4-3. When a Vexing Devil enters the battlefield, any opponent may have it deal 4 damage to him or her. If that player does sacrifice a Vexing Devil. Wow. Huh. All right. Do I need to sleeve that sucker? Well, I guess I'll sleeve it. Are you saying that people are going to bring down my stream? There it does. It's it's hugely expensive. It's huge. It's it's huge. It's really huge. All right. Let's see here. All right, well, what do you guys think? Should we open something else, or should we do Unhinged now, or should we wait a little bit? What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Woot. All right, well, let's let's open one now, and then I'll open something else, and then we'll just 
we'll we'll let this we'll savor the unhinged packs because I've never opened unhinged, and um, I think these freaking cards are hilarious. Um, like, I think uh, I think you're gonna get a kick out of these bots. Oh, here we go. We start out with that fat ass. The fat ass. Yeah, let's. Let's, uh. <laughs> yeah, so these unhinged cards are pretty pretty redonkulous. Let's try this way. <laughs> All right, no. That's not working. Okay. All right, so next, we're, we're, I'm gonna take my time on these guys, uh, just because like these, these are these are something to savor. We got frazzled editor. Smart ass. Ah. Stop that. <laughs> so this is funny. Alright, so stop that. Costs one black. Target player discards a card. Gotcha. Whenever an opponent audibly flicks the card in his or her hand, you may say, gotcha. If you do, return stop that from the graveyard to your hand. You know, I, I can see this going in an EDH deck. All right, so we have Red Hot Hottie. It's like the card is melting. <laughs> it is not the video stream, by the way. That is the way the card is. <laughs> Trust me on that one. Shoe Tree. Shoe Tree comes into play with up to two shoe counters on it. Use your shoes as counters. <laughs> Shoe tree gets plus one plus one for each shoe counter on it. <laughs> oh man, these cards are great. I wish they actually like did the limited on these. These would be pretty funny. Card pecker, <laughs> creature bird, flying. It also has gotcha. Whenever an opponent touches the table with his or her hand, you may say gotcha. If you do, return card pecker from your graveyard to your hand. And he's a one and a half, one. <laughs> Carnivorous Death Parrot. Flying. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice Carnivorous Death Parrot unless you say it's flavor text. It's flavor text is save a kill spell to deal with this guy. <laughs> All right, then. Fallen apart creature zombie. The fallen apart comes into play with two arms and two legs. Whenever damage is dealt to the fallen apart, remove an arm <laughs> or leg from it. <laughs> the fallen apart can attack if it has no legs and can't block if it has no arms. Do these things actually pop out? No. That'd be kind of funny if they actually had them where it was like perforated where they can pop out. Now that that would be going to the extreme. P 
punctuate wait wait pung yeah punctuate yeah punctuate deals damage to target creature equal to half the number of punctuation marks in that creature's text box <laughs> oh okay well that's interesting <coughs> oh excuse me kill destroy Destroy target non-black creature. Gotcha. Whenever an opponent says kill or destroy, you may say gotcha. If you do, return kill destroy from your graveyard to your hand. Deal damage. Deal damage does deals four damage to target creature or player. Gotcha. Whenever an opponent says deal or damage, you may say gotcha. If you do, return deal damage from your graveyard to your hand. Alright. Ladies night. It's ladies night. Oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. Anyway, sorry. Uh, flying spells that players are wearing at least one item of women's clothing play cost one less to play. Two two. All right, and we got a full art planes. All right, and now I know my ABCs. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control permanents with names that include all 26 letters of the English alphabet, you win the game. <laughs> all right. Well, that was our first run at some pretty funky cards. It's pretty cool. These are uh, probably the best lands John Avon, I think, is an incredible artist when it comes to creating lands. Okay, let's see. What is next? What can we do next? Hmm. Ah, let's go ahead. Let's go. Let's do the next one. No silliness. No goofing around. Let's just do this. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. I should probably put that in the sleeve, huh? Okay. All right. We have standing army. As long as as long as you're standing, standing army has vigilance. There we go. That's uh, that'd be fun to go uh, if this was actually something real at a GP. Seeing everybody standing, <laughs> that'd be hilarious. <laughs> like six thousand people standing at a GP. Uh, Brushstoke, painter mage, target permanent. Target permanence artist becomes the artist of your choice until the end of turn. Okay. The name of this artist, you guys can't see it. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. Ron, don't dare change me, Spears. That's funny. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Can you guys see that better? It's looking better on my side. What do you guys think? We'll give that a try, huh? 
Mother of Goons. Whenever a creature an opponent controls is put into the graveyard from play, sacrifice Mother of Goons unless you insult that creature. Good. Alright. Finally did something right. Oh no, now we lost it. What the heck? Okay, <laughs> well, uh, that was short-lived. Touch and go. Destroy target land. Gotcha. Whenever an opponent touches his or her face, you may say, gotcha. If you do, return touch and go from the graveyard to your hand. Ah, uh, what is up with this focus? Laughing Hyena. Gotcha. Whenever an opponent laughs, you may say, gotcha. <laughs> Revenge the <laughs> Desolator's Potato. Oh, man. You guys crack me up. All right. Well... It seems like I'm not going to get any good focus on this. It was focusing there for a second. Let's try it one more time. One more time, and then if it doesn't work, then, oh well. Nothing I can do today. Yeah, whatever. We'll see. We'll see if it kind of comes back. Man of measure. As long as you're shorter than an opponent, man of measure has first strike and gets zero plus one. Let's see. Number cruncher. Is this number cruncher? Number number crunch. Number crunch. Okay. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Yeah, the whole gotcha thing. If you say it, if you do, return it to your graveyard to your hand. Wet Willie of the Damned. Wet Willy of the Dam deals two and a half damage to target creature or player, and you gain two and a half life. Goblin Secret Agent. First strike. At the beginning of your upkeep, reveal a card from your hand at random. Right. Land Aid 04. Sorcery. Search your library for a basic land card. 
put that card into the play tapped and then shuffle your library if you sang if you sang a song the whole time you were searching and shuffling you may untap that land okay spell counter <laughs> All right, so instant counter target spell. Gotcha. Whenever an opponent says spell or a counter, you may say gotcha. If you do, return spell counter from the graveyard to your hand. Zombie fanboy. What does this one do? Creature Zombie Gamer. As Zombie Fanboy comes into play, choose an artifact. Or choose an artist. Whenever a permanent by the chosen artist is put into the graveyard, put two plus one plus one counters on Zombie Fanboy. Did they play this in limited? Like did when this came out, did, was this in limited play? Like did they draft this or something or what? Hey Matt, how's it going, buddy? All right, let's try to get this focus back now. Let's try this. Come on, buddy. Come on, Mr. Focus. There we go. Name dropping. Gotcha. Whenever an opponent says a word that in the name of a card in your graveyard you may say gotcha if you do return that card to your hand okay all right i think but let's see what our rare is let's get some focus so that way you can see it maybe it doesn't want to focus come on focus you stupid camera. There we go. All right, you guys ready? Is that me, or does that guy look kind of like a fucked up looking version of Chewbacca? Just saying. Infernal spawn of infernal spawn of evil. Two black, eight colorless flying first strike trample if you say i'm coming to as the search for your library you may pay one colorless one black and reveal infernal spawn of infernal spawn of evil from your library to have it deal two damage to a player of your choice do this no more than once each turn all right oh Hello, thank you very much. Now that is sweet, sweet foil. What do you think? It says I should put that in a sleeve, right? That, that needs to be in a sleeve? I think so. That is awesome. That's got to be worth some cash, right? I know the regulars are like 10 bucks or something like that. So the foils would have to be something. Yeah, I put it in his sleeve. This is actually my first time opening uh, Unhinged, so uh, this is actually quite fun. <laughs> oh my god.
Yeah, you, you didn't... Alright, I'm going to catch up here for a second, actually. There's been a lot of chat going on, and I've been missing it. Oh yeah, Matt, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be streaming for a little bit longer here. Uh, it was kind of slow going in the bit. Woot Woot was uh, enjoying being the the lone soldier, but uh, now we got a few of you guys, so that's very cool. Um, definitely more than I expected, so that's great. I didn't I wasn't sure if. Like, you guys got notified. Like, I didn't really do anything special except for schedule it. So, I wasn't sure if you guys get notified if there's going to be a live stream. So, I almost wondered, is anybody going to actually show up? Because this is the first time I've ever done it, so. I did not know that, Well, uh, well, <laughs> right, 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 bots. I really well, thanks, Woot. I appreciate that. So, actually, before we get into this, I'm just going to ask you guys a couple of questions then. Oh, really? That sucks, man. Um, yeah, so I I've, I've been contemplating and thinking about doing all of my openings from now on as live streams as opposed to recording them, editing them, and then putting them up. Um, so for like any of the new sets that come out or we have a couple of special ones that we're going to be doing really soon. Um, and one's going to coincide with the video we're going to release that was, um, based on a subject that, uh, was actually suggested by Matt. So, <laughs> well, yeah, so I guess what I'll say is uh, we, we've opened up a couple of packs of uh, Unhinged. We're on our third pack right now. We pulled a Foil Plains Full Art Land, a regular Plains Full Art Land. Uh, we opened up some... Scars and Avison. So out of that, we got a Vexing Devil and an Exquisite Blood. So we're now just opening up our third pack of Unhinged for fun. For funsies. <laughs> I, I, wish, I wish we had the... I wish we had the capital and, and the the viewer support to do alpha beta packs. I would love to. If 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 you guys give me the viewer support, I will open them on this channel. But uh, that's that's a tall order. That's a lot of that's a lot of dough, guys. All right. So let's let's get into our third pack of unhinged, huh? So we have Come on, focus, don't fail me now. Snot. Wow, that's an ugly looking card. Like, what what the hell is that anyways? All right, as snot comes into play, you may stick it into another creature's... Wait, what? Stick it onto another creature named snot in play. If you do, all those creatures form a single creature. 
Snot's power and toughness are equal to the square of the number of snots stuck together. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is quite funny. So one is a one one, two are a four four, and oh the focus, where did you go? There we go. Uh and three are nine nine and four are sixteen sixteen. Oof. Yowzas. That's that's some wicked snot, man. Alright, we got cheap ass. Cheap ass is real. Come on, you stupid camera. I'm gonna have to get manual focus working on this thing. Creature, donkey, townsfolk. Spells you play cast half less to play. It is a one, three, and a half. Cheap ass. <laughs> Gotta love that art. Carnivorous Death Parrot. Uh, we had this one before. Flying at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice Carnivorous Death Parrot, unless you say it's flavor text. <laughs> yeah, snot can get messy for sure. When fluffy bunnies attack. That's a card for you there, bots. Right? When fluffy bunnies attack. There you go. Check out all those bunnies. You think that dragon is actually scared? Kind of does. He kind of looks scared, doesn't he? Man, that's a lot of bunnies. You would think they would all have red eyes, though. Anyways. Target creature gets negative X, negative X until the end of turn, where X is the number of times the letter of your choice appears in that creature's name. All right. Look at those creepy bunnies. Well, we got another red hot hottie. Check your camera because that is the way that card looks. Look at that crazy thing. It doesn't even want to focus. Whoa. Let's see. Let's see if I can't get that to focus there. There we go. Whenever a red hot hottie deals damage to a creature, put a third degree burn counter on that creature. It has, at the end of each turn, sacrifice this creature unless you scream, ah, at the top of your lungs. Red hot hottie. All right. No, 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 we didn't give away the packs just yet. I was waiting for uh, more people to show up. Card name ever elemental. Art Rampage 2. Whenever this becomes blocked by a creature, it gets plus 2, plus 2 for each creature in blocker's art beyond the first. Wow, this is a crazy card. Crazy, crazy. Well, we got the card pecker again. It's quite the pecker, huh? Card, card pecker, that is. Creature, bird, flying has gotcha. Whenever an opponent touches the table with his or her hand, you may say gotcha. If you do return card pecker from your hand, or from your graveyard to your hand. Loose lips. Hello. Enchant creature. As loose lips comes into play, choose a sentence with eight or fewer words. Enchant creature has flying. Whenever enchanted creature deals damage to an opponent, you draw no focus. You draw no focus. You draw two cards unless that player says the chosen sentence. There we go. This damn focus. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to get this fixed 
for the next time. Now we'll do, we'll give the way packs uh, after this. Uh, Fallen apart. The Fallen Apart comes into play with two arms and two legs. Whenever damage is dealt to the Fallen Apart, remove an arm or leg from it. The Fallen Apart can't attack if it has no legs, and it can't block if it has no arms. All right. Spell counter. Got this earlier. Counter target spell. No focus. All right, let's, let's see if we can't get the focus back. There we go. All right, let's see. All right, we got no focus again. This stupid camera, man. Zombie fanboy. As zombie fanboy comes into play, choose an artist. Whenever a permanent by that chosen artist is put into the graveyard, put two plus one plus one counters on fanboy. What? Oh. There we go. That one's kind of cool. MC. Whenever another creature comes into play, you may stand up and say, Deep Booming Voice presenting. And that creature's name. If you do, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature. That's pretty sweet. That's a pretty cool looking card, actually. I like that. And we got a forest. So we got three full art lands out of three packs. So that's pretty cool. And a blast from the past. Oh, well, there's, we're not done yet. Oh, wow, okay. Blast from the Past, Madness, Cycling, Kicker, Flashback, and Buyback. <laughs> Blast from the Past deals 2 damage to target creature or player. If the Kicker cost is paid, put a 1-1 one, one red, red Goblin creature token in play. And what is this? Brush Stroke... Painter Mage Foil. Sorry, guys, the focus here. Let's see if we can't get that to focus. There we go. Brushstroke Painter Mage Foil. It's kind of funky looking. Target permanent artist becomes the artist of your choice until the end of turn. All right. Well, that was fun, guys, huh? blast from the past that's pretty funny so yeah so we got uh we opened three packs and got three full art lands one foil so that's pretty sweet all right so we're gonna move on to let's give away some packs huh and then we'll open one more thing, and then I'll have to call it a night there, guys. Hey, Des, what is the site that you use for um, the YouTube thing? YouTube comment. Randomizer. Is it random comment picker? Yeah. All right. 
So, let's change this. Hmm. Hold on a second. Having some issues making the change. It's weird. This is strange. Hold on one second. Having technical difficulties. Okay, well, I don't know why, but it will not let me present my desktop to you guys. But that's a little unfortunate. Oh, wait, here we go. What in the Wild West? What the? Okay, this is slightly weird and embarrassing. Let's do it this way. Copy. Okay, now we're in business. Now, the way this is going to happen, I, I talked about before um, that we're going to give away two packs. We're going to give away a Cattle Dash pack and an Aether Revolt pack. Uh, and originally, I said it was going to be five lucky winners. But instead of it being five, we're going to pull ten lucky winners today yay not everybody scream and jumping up and down um and jump and joy yeah as han solo says laugh it up fuzzball Okay, so let's grab Okay, are you guys ready? What's up everybody? Chris, Legendary Mana. And first off, I want to say thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for subscribing. Um, it's been a long road. I'm not sure what it's doing. You know, the last couple of months, we, uh, we got to 300 subscribers, which is pretty cool. Can't complain too much about that. Um, but, 
I want to send a shout out to two people. It's loading comments. <laughs> Was it really that loud? Sorry about that, guys. That's crazy. Uh, okay, so comments aren't loading on this one, so... Let's try a different one. <laughs> What did you see? <laughs> okay, okay, guys, I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. Where is commentpicker.com? We'll try this one. Here we go. Let's try this one. Oh, you have to log in with Facebook on this one? Wait. Oh, okay. Slash YouTube. Okay, so that URL is not working. Let's try it again. Okay, comment picker dot com. Well, obviously, I am not well prepared for this. Commentpicker.com slash YouTube doesn't... YouTube.html. There we go. There we go. Here we go, guys. Are we ready? Um, it's been a long road. I give myself pen and paper. You know, the last couple of months, we uh, we got to 300 subscribers, which is pretty cool. Can't complain too much about that. Um, but it's kind of and just do videos. If you do videos, they will come. 
And you have. That's for the video. Is a music man to the max. I think what's happening is every time I paste the uh, URL in there, it uh, So, third one. Three of ten. Despicable MTG. That is our third lucky winner. Let's pick the fourth winner of the evening. Traders Council. Wow, what's going on with the stream? All right. So, keep on noticing it's going in and out. So, sorry about that, guys. But, Traders Council is the winner of the fourth out of ten. I actually just got fiber. Ha ha ha. You're so funny, bots. Ha ha ha. That's me laughing insanely hard. Ha ha ha. I did get fiber. Um I don't I don't really think it's the connection. I wonder if it's just the fact I I'm running this on three screens, which I don't think I should be doing. So, uh, I'm going to have to test this out and kind of possibly do a better job.
right, winner number five out of ten is Jose Gonzalez. Yeah. All right, halfway there. I don't know who Jose Gonzalez is either. All right, number six. Who is it going to be? Desolator Magic! <laughs> yeah. That's funny. I guess I guess you're not going to accept your uh, your winning packs there, Des. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll rerun that one since I know you won't let me send you your packs. All right, so let's redo number six. ATZEN MW3. Yay! All right. Congrats, man. All right, let's do this again. Make a spin on the wheel for number seven. Who's gonna win lucky number seven? If Desolator gets picked again, Grand Admiral is the seventh winner. This is kind of fun. All right. Two left to go, right? Two, four, six, seven, three left to go. We're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, three left to go. Let's do this. Who's going to be number eight? OP Tick Gamers Tag. There we go. Say that ten times. I don't know if I can say it three times. Well, let's face it, guys. On how easy or how bad my English is, I might not even be able to say it twice in a row, right? Am I right? All right. Okay. We have number nine. A number nine. Who is lucky number nine? Jarface. Jarface. Is Jarface here? Okay, two, four, six, eight, nine. This is number ten, guys. So this is the last one of the evening, and then we'll uh, we'll open up some something special. I don't know what that is yet, but we will figure that out shortly. Okay, this is it. 
Drum roll. Number 10. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Woot Woot? It is Justin Vaughn. Well, thanks again for playing. Don't worry, guys. We're going to have more fun community giveaways uh, throughout our career of doing this channel. Uh, some will be better than others. Some will be... It's just going to be fun. We're just going to do a lot of fun. Um, so what do you guys think? Busting and giving away packs. Um, number 10 is <laughs> Justin Bieber. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> uh, okay, so for the winners, um, go ahead and email me your info. Um, our email is legendary mana mail at gmail.com. So that didn't come through on the chat very well, but you get the idea. It's legendary mana mail at gmail.com. And I'll also, you know, do a video on it just telling people who won for the people that aren't present here on the stream. Um, by the way, thanks again for joining on the stream, guys. Um, you know, uh, this was like a last-minute decision to go ahead and do it as a stream because I was unsure if we were going to have very many people. So, you know, not bad. If you, we got eight of us here, so I uh, truly appreciate you guys coming out. Let's go ahead and open one last thing before we call it a night. What should we open? Hmm. Do I have... Mm, I don't have a lot to open right now. Oh, I know. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and tear through these. We only got, uh, let's see, two, four, six, six of each. Um, and let's see if we can't. Thanks, Whoop. Yeah, I guess I guess you're right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys have been keeping me entertained. Appreciate that. Although I should be the one entertaining you guys. So. <laughs> um. Yeah. So you're right. Let, let's go ahead and do it that way. Uh, do a do a YouTube DM to me and uh, we can uh, settle up that way. I'll um I'll I'll basically you know talk send the talk about those details uh, in our next video which actually we're producing tomorrow and should hopefully release by Friday. It's actually gonna be our next uh, MTG update podcast. Uh, we will have a special guest. Uh, unfortunately, we did not get um, a cat guest like we wanted to. But I think we have something better. No, no, I, by any means, I uh, appreciate the uh, suggestion. Um, I, I think that's a good call.
<laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> uh Des suggested that we get um uh uh Jeremy's cat um as a guest. So I've been trying to contact him and he hasn't gotten back to me. He hasn't returned my calls or emails or text messages or anything. So I just I couldn't get him as a guest. <laughs> okay, real quick, we'll go ahead and uh, let's uh, just burn through these really fast, huh? See if we get any fun pulls. We'll just do the sauce for these and burn through it pretty quickly. I'll just do this, hold it in hand. Imperial Voyager. Ah. Chief of the Foundry. Council's Shield Guard. Ah. Jeez. Fleet Wheel Cruiser and a foil Blooming Marsh. There we go. We've got some pretty good land hits tonight, huh, guys? We got some full art lands, a foil full art land, and now a full art blooming marsh. Can't complain about that one, huh? A zombie cat. Yeah, yeah, we could. We certainly could do that. We've we've had some pretty good land hits tonight. That's pretty crazy. Weapon craft enthusiasts. Werther virtuoso. Brazen. Scourge, Scourge. I'm so bad with names of cards. You guys know that already by now, though. Captured by the consulate, and a start your engines foil. I'm actually creating a deck around this card. It's a little insane, a little weird, and a little fun, but won't win you a Friday Night Magic event for sure. Yeah, I might have to give up. So one of my monitors is a is a 2K monitor, and then um, the other two. So I'm thinking I might just go down to two monitors and see if that helps. I might even switch over to my my bigger system uh, to do streaming. I think Essence Extraction, Aether Meltdown. Incinerary Sabotage and Architect of the Untamed is the rare. Oval Chase Dragster. Hazardous Conditions, Trusty Companion, and Midnight Oil, and a Nature's Way Foil. I do like how their, their foils are coming out these days. They still curl, but they're looking better and better. Uh, I think I think in particular, the uh, Modern Masters uh, MM3 foils uh, look amazing. Um, and in fact, I, I, none of my foils have curled yet uh, from our Masters 2017. Uh, I don't know if you guys have experienced any 
foil curvage yet on Modern Masters 2017, but I sure haven't. Embrail, Embrawl, Bruiser, Unlicensed Disintegration, great card, Gearper Guide, and Demon of the Dark Schemes. Rawr. Last pack of Kaladesh. Aetherborn Marauder, Visionary Augmenter, Gear Per Guide, and Scrap Heap Scrounger. That thing's spiked a bit recently, huh? Thanks to the good old Pro Tour. More on that coming soon, by the way. We're going to have a big discussion about the Pro Tour coming up in our MTG podcast. Okay, moving on to Eighth Revolt. So we got six packs here. We got Renegade Rallyer. I love that card. That's a good card. Thopter Arrest. Consulant of the Dreadnought. By the way, along with this card, Start Your Engines. Uh, I am creating a crazy red-white vehicles deck that will be fun to play. I will be doing a deck tech on that one. Disallow. Good card. Not sure if that's something that anybody would, would like to play or put together, but uh, I think I think it's kind of fun. Takes some people uh, by surprise, played it in Paper Magic, and people are like, what are you doing? What what's just what just happened? Alright. Shielded Aether Thief. Daredevil Dragster. Monstrous Onslaught. And Scrap Trawler is the rare forest foil and a planes oh energy energy token god that's worth a whole penny okay home stretch guys Four left to go. Gremlin Infestation. Skyship Plunder. Fatal Push. We probably should sleeve that crazy uncommon of a card. And Free Jam Regent. And another energy token. Okay guys, home stretch. Invigorated Rampage. Perilous Predicament Monstrous Onslaught and Yeheni Undying Partisan. Yeah, you're right. We were using, uh, in our pre-release, we were using, Matt, we were using uh, uh, the Pokemon Energy, whether or not, it's not Energy, what is it? Energy? I don't know, the Pokemon version of those tokens. It was quite funny. We were using Pokemon cards for magic. Life Crafters Gift, Outland Boar, Prima Aether Seer. And Quicksmith Spy. All right. Last and final pack. Well, again, I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, it's been fun. I apologize for our 
technical difficulties. We will work out our technical difficulties, I promise. Um, so, yeah, I mean, again, thanks for joining. Um, we'll definitely make this a regular thing um, as more and more we do these. So, without further ado, let's end this. Let's end this. Can we pull a masterpiece? Can we do this in the final pack of the evening? That would be epic to end on that, huh? Ironclad Revolutionary. Mall fist revolutionary. Well, there you go. Look at that. Two revolutionaries in a row. Barricade breaker and a Yohenes expertise and no masterpiece. Oh well, it is what it is. Um. So yeah. Um. Thanks for joining me once again. I hope you guys have a good night. And uh, hopefully we will do this again sometime and have some fun with it and give away some more packs. Have a great evening and see you next video.